uh, Jenny, thank you, Sylvia, for turning on the recording. Thank, uh, welcome, Sylvia. Um, unfortunately, our the the um, fourth or fifth or <laughs> um, Marion, the third of the tutors and uh, sort of sixth member of the of the six members of the course team. Marion's unable to join us today. Uh, she sends her apologies and regrets. Um, she's at a at a team building away day, so we all wish her very well. What we're going to do today, this is the the last of our guest speaker sessions, um, and Dave White will be speaking about uh, quality versus credibility versus pedagogy, versus legitimacy, versus money, uh, and open educational resources, of course, in about uh, 10 minutes. And, and what I wanted to do was use this time as people are arriving to mention some of the uh, other elements of the course that are building up around this. I'll touch briefly on the first steps agenda for weeks four and five, and then mention uh, open educational resources and um, the research and evaluation. So um, at the end of Dave's session, I'm going to preview what we'll be doing next week, because next week is the final week of this course, and is going to be an opportunity for course participants to showcase their own work. And uh, I do hope that we all join in for that. Just the reminder that we will be recording the session. The recording has started. The recordings will be publicly available. Uh, the text chat is only semi-private. That is, moderators can see all the text chat, even private messages that you might send to yourselves. Um, uh, just as a matter of courtesy to remind people of that. I would like to please invite everybody to sign the research consent form. I think that link actually won't be a clickable link, but if I put a clickable link into the chat, there becomes a clickable link. Um, we do need to obtain consent from participants to use anything that they might have said. Uh, we'll use everything anonymously. We don't intend to uh, call attention to individuals identity, but we, do, we would like to be able to quote from um, aspects of this course when, when um, reporting on it for research purposes. So if people could uh, um, sign the research consent form, it would be, we, would, we would be very grateful if, if you could do that. Um, and I also want to mention in connection with research, the evaluation. Evaluation is, of course, different from, but to some extent, of course, related to research. Research is about creating new knowledge in respect, in this case, of the pedagogy of teaching online and uh, what open academic practice might mean in massive open online courses. Evaluation is specifically aimed at making improvements for this course when we run it again. And I say when because I'm confident that we will be doing a version, uh, certainly, of this course online again, probably in about a year's time. And we need to take into account all of the things that we've discovered as we've been doing it here for the first time. And uh, if I, again, take the uh, opportunity to paste a clickable link into the, into the chat, uh, that's a clickable link to the course evaluation um, form. We're using, um, we're using SurveyMonkey for this purpose rather than anything within Moodle so that you can be reasonably confident that your identity will be anonymous if you choose to uh, leave it that way. Um, so if you can, you can feel free to um, comment in the evaluation questionnaire in any way you wish. 
um, hopefully in a constructive and uh, helpful manner. Right, which leads me neatly into the First Steps curriculum, Open Educational Resources and First Steps in Learning and Teaching. Um, I'm sort of trusting that most of you have uh, spent at least some time in, in the Moodle. Can I have a little smiley face from everybody who spent some time in the Moodle in the discussion forums and looking at the... Um, yeah, excellent. So yes, Haley, Chris, um, most people, most people in this session have spent some time in in the Moodle environment, um, and I wanted to draw attention to week four and week five's um, elements of the first steps curriculum. The first steps curriculum has tried to be sort of uh, model along the lines of. Um, a constructively aligned curriculum. So we started off with uh, supporting student learning. We then talked about teaching groups, then giving, uh, sorry, then, then reflective practice, then teaching groups, then feedback, then lecturing or teaching large groups, if you will, and conclude the elements of the first steps curriculum with evaluation. And I wanted to call attention to both of these uh, components because Rona Sharp's uh, lecture on lecturing and Greg Benfield's um, short videos on course evaluation are might be seen as some kind of model of something like good practice in online teaching. And people may be interested in what kinds of things they would submit as examples of their own online teaching. And we don't want to suggest by any means that these are the only models, but if you wanted to see a reasonably good little video on lecturing and about how to deliver a lecture, uh, you could probably do worse than uh, Rona's piece on lecturing. And similarly, Greg makes the um, field of educational evaluation quite clear in a fairly concise um, in a fairly concise video. So both of those are about 10, well, uh, Rona's is about uh, 18 minutes long. I think Greg's is about 10 minutes long. Um, so you're sort of into the area that we've been asking people on this course to um, engage in to sort of think about showcasing a 10-minute piece of online teaching. And these are some examples of what or, so it showcase 10 minutes of teaching. Yeah, Rona's video is useful, says Mark. That's good. Thank you, Mark. Um, and some people are dropping in and dropping out. Uh, I've noticed Lindsay's come out and uh, Anna has just left, but I expect she'll, I certainly hope, hope she comes back. Um, so, Having, having drawn attention to those elements of the curriculum, yeah, Anna has come back. Welcome back, Anna. Um, are there, just before I move on, are there any questions from participants in the room today about either the first steps curriculum, research, or evaluation? Jenny, do you have any comments to add at this point? Um, I don't think so. I would just like to point out that we have opened a discussion thread to sh for those people who want to take part in the micro-teaching activity um, so that we can share what we do as we go along and get peer support. Um, so that's the purpose. It's in week four. I've opened the thread in week four. So hopefully um, people won't think of this activity as a massive assessment type activity, but rather as something that we can learn about together as we go along. Thank you, Jenny. I think that learning about together as we go along is one of the Sort of watchwords, almost a almost a thematic way of expressing how we would hope that this course um, 
manifests itself for, for all of you.